Hey, oh, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is Avoid Rivals number 10. Uh, the issue is a pretty he one. It's a, it's a pretty um, you know, surprising one as far as uh, what is revealed. Written by Robert Kirkman, Lorenzo De Felici is the artist, Patricio Del Pesci is the colorist, Russ Wooten's the letter. Alright, so Void Rivals uh, kicked off the Energon universe, bringing together G.I. Joe, Transformers, and Void Rivals. Uh, but the question is, is what, uh, is it really like a real connection to any of it? Um, you know, first issue had them meeting Jetfire, but that doesn't really connect them. Uh, this issue lays it out that there is much more going on in this world that has to do with Transformers than kind of we've led, been led to believe up to this point. It starts off with uh, Springer, uh, Tr Autobot, as it was discovered, I think, previous issue or the issue before. He's still uh, battling um, things out uh, and, and, you know, fighting some uh, some evil forces. But that's really not the, the key thing about this issue. This issue is the interesting is that uh, Springer discovers that the little jewels on the heads of these characters uh, are energy ports for Energon. Yes, while they might be organic, there is something Cybertronian uh, about the uh, uh, Agorians and Zartonians. That's it, right? Agorians and Zartonians? What is that? Um, and, yeah, Gor Gorians and Zartonians. Uh, and that, you know, they have some connection to Cybertron, and specifically Energon, that the ring that they live on uh, is some sort of, like, Energon generator, and Spring Springer talks about in the beginning of the war, there was kind of a, a lot of Autobots kind of took off tr trying to find new sources of Energon, and it turns out one uh, may have founded this world, uh, Zetra uh, Trion, or Zerta, Zerta Trion, uh, and we've heard Zerta mentioned before as kind of like the god of, of this world. Well, it turns out Zerta might have been a, a, an Autobot is what, you know, kind of the revelation is. Um, and, uh, Zerta has the honor of being called the Trion, which means like, you know, lots of wisdom type of thing. Um, oh, there, there's only, if, as he says, there's only two that had that title. We do know one of them. Uh, so it's it's a really interesting issue where basically we we get a sense of like where things are going, but the bigger is like that there is a massive connection between uh, these societies and and the Transformers. Um, to me, that's the the big thing off this issue. It's starting to like connect the dots, which I think is is really intriguing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like it, it, as a whole, I think the series is. It kind of feels like the the um, some of the mini series for like GI Joe, where it's like it adds flavor and it adds background, but you know on its own it's okay. Uh, but as part of like the whole, it's really really good because it's kind of adding in lots of intriguing aspects that might not have existed otherwise. So um, there's something to it. And I'm really kind of fascinated to see where this goes. Now I've read up to issue 13, which has been out this week, and that's why I kind of going back to 10. We didn't review this uh, on video yet, so I want to catch up. Uh, but, you know, where it starts kind of going, I think, is, is really interesting from here. So uh, it's a series that, like, if you have been overlooking it, but you've been reading Transformers, reading G.I. Joe, you might want to go check out Void Rivals because it's got, it's got something going on. Um, the art continues to be really solid. I, I really like the style that's gone for here. I mean, G.I. Joe is clearly organic. You got lots of, you know, plants and, you know, rivers and it's on Earth, stuff like that. And then you got Transformers, which is much more like or, uh, inorganic and mechanical and, and cold, like whereas G.I. Joe is kind of warm. This is in between somewhere. There's like a, the, the buildings and stuff like that have like this brutalist cold design about it. Uh, and the world as a whole kind of follows that as well, but it's still kind of organic in some ways. And I like I, apparently the, the races that are within, um, you know, the the story, I think, really reflects the, the concept underneath. It's something I've kind of noticed since the beginning, and, and I do appreciate it. Like, this is the in-between those two worlds. So fascinating stuff. Uh, a lot of interesting things to come. You can go get this. It's been out in the shops for a while. A trade should be out soon, collecting this and a few other issues. Um, go hit up your shop. we got links beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links for a good purchaser own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that, and you'll support our site. So thank you for that. 
And speaking of support, just watching your video support us as always, so thank you as well. If you are into comics, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.